What's going on guys? Welcome back to Brent's Healthier Living. So today I figured that we would go ahead and make some delicious healthy cookies. Now I prefer peanut butter cookies and my girlfriend prefers chocolate chip cookies so we figured why not we'll go ahead and make both. So to start out you want to get about four tablespoons of brown sugar, about four tablespoons of regular sugar, then you want to put in about we use two-thirds of a cup of chocolate chips, but you can use whatever you prefer. And then you want to put in about two-thirds cup plus an additional half a cup of oat flour. Then you want to throw in about a quarter teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And these are just all of your dry ingredients, so you want to make sure those are just real nice and mixed together. Now that that's all mixed, we're going to throw in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract along with two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can also use coconut oil if you would like. And then between three and five tablespoons of milk. We used three and ours came out fine, but if you prefer a little bit of a more liquidy or softer dough then you can add a little bit more milk to your own personal preference. Just want to make sure to get that nice and mixed together. Once it's all nice and mixed, you just want to eat. Don't steal cookie dough. <sighs> Always trying to steal the cookie dough. All right, back to what I was saying. Once the uh, dough's all mixed up, you just want to form it into a nice tight ball and put some saran wrap in it and just refrigerate it for a little while. We did ours overnight. Either one works. And although they're chilling, we're going to start on our peanut butter cookies. These are my favorites. So you just want to add in your two eggs. Make sure not to get any shells in there. They're never fun to get out. You want to throw in a half a cup of packed brown sugar. You just want to mix that until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna follow that up with a teaspoon of baking soda. And then follow that up with about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then once again, mix that very well together. You then want to throw in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a cup of peanut butter.
Next, we're going to throw in our cup of old-fashioned oats. And the next step is a personal preference. You can add half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips or nuts or whatever you want. We decided to put in Reese's peanut butter chips and that did make them a bit peanut buttery. So if you don't like too much peanut butter, I wouldn't recommend it. I love it. So I really didn't mind the extra peanut butter. Then you just want to make sure to get that nice and well incorporated. Oh. And make sure to have quality equipment so that way your whisk does not break in the middle of mixing. Now we let this sit overnight as well. And so it's the next day and we finally get to get to the baking. My girlfriend was going crazy just sitting there watching this dough in the fridge. Now you want to just go and just make little, some nice little balls, you know, whatever your personal size is. We got about 12. If you make them smaller, you can get between 14 and 20. And after you get these all put onto your well-greased cookie sheet, Throw them in a 380 degree oven for about seven minutes. Now when you pull them out, they might look a little undercooked, but they are going to carry over cook, so don't worry about it. Just pull them out and let them cool for about 10 minutes before you take them off the cookie sheet. So while those are cooling off, we're going to get back to our peanut butter cookie mix now. And we're just using a regular ice cream scoop. It's about three tablespoons of batter. And so once again, you just wanna put that onto a well-greased cookie sheet. And these are going to get baked at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Stupid bug. Now we got about 12 cookies out of these, so if you want more, you know, you can just take a little bit off. So then you just want to give a little bit of a flattening to your cookies. And once again, throw them in at 350 for about 10 minutes. And there you guys have it. Some very delicious, surprisingly how delicious they were, chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the cookies and have a nice day.